Great. So like a very honored tonight. Um, you know, this is our very, very first time doing this. And um, the reason why we, we wanted to do this because we know uh, as women, we have so many caps to play every single day, right? We have to be a you know, mom and then we have to be a good wife good daughter, good daughter-in-law, many, many hands we have to play, right? And um, sometimes we, we're so good until we forgot ourselves, okay? So it's important we keep a space for our, us to learn how to grow ourselves, to love ourselves. And there's no perfect, you know, right or wrong. The only thing is how to be better. So tonight, we are very, very honored to um, invite this. She actually is part of our, uh, you know, our, our champion of season 10 of 21 Days uh, Fit Challenge. Uh -huh. And uh, personally, I know her for more than 10 years. Um, she, you know, uh, if some of you have followed my Woman Empowerment Live uh, sessions, she actually um, um, one of our, our guests, right? And then she share about her story, her background, how she um, handled four kids with a good, you know, big job. And uh, at the same time to raise a family, everything she have to do. And, but she do it well. And that's why I wanted to invite her. And um, one thing I wanted to share, she is a wellness therapist, which is certified as a um, psych psychotherapist yeah yes okay and um so there's a lot of names what is it all about so i want all of you to uh, welcome her michelle come on up oh thank you very very much um <laughs> such a such an honor to be here tonight everyone um i would just like to uh maybe explain that um let me just get this uh out of the way so that i can share my screen Okay, um, um, oh, I, I co-host you first, yeah? Oh, okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I just, I can't, sh I can't oh. share. Okay, uh, Rebecca, can you put co-host for, uh, yeah, I think, okay, then. Yeah, just trying to, to, yeah, okay. Is it okay now? Can I share it? Yeah, sure. Okay, awesome. Okay, so just let me do this. So sure. while Michelle is preparing her slide, just wanted to let you know, she has four kids, yeah? Her background used to be a banker. She used to be, um, 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 she's still working in Benigara, which is, uh, um, you know, also a busy job. But her passion is really helping people and have transformed women, right? And so Michelle, can you share a little bit of your, uh, yeah, I pass it to you. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Jan. Thank you. So um, before I um, started working with Bank Nigara, I was actually an investment banker myself. So I used to work really, really long hours, 80 to 100 hour weeks maybe. And on top of that, not only was I a career woman, I was also a mother, right? So um, I had, and as Jan said, I have four children. So trying to juggle and balance between being a mother, being a career woman and all that, um, it sometimes threw uh, my life off course so that I didn't have enough time um, or energy to look after myself, right? Because I was so... Um, uh, busy looking after other people, uh, the children, you know, the family, the husband, <laughs> as well as my boss, right, to make him happy. So one thing I realized um, over those many years, and that's why I shifted um, as well from finance into what I'm doing now, which is psychotherapy, which is coaching and all that, is to help people to empower themselves again so that they don't feel like life is out of control, so that they can get back... Um, their time, their energy, but in a way where they can balance a lot of different things in your life. So even if you're still working, um, and even if you still have, um, you know, a lot of family commitments, you can still find uh, a way to empower yourself. And that's why I think me and um, uh, Jan get on so well, because, um, you know, we believe that everybody um, is capable of being their better self, right? And that, that self-improvement is always continuous. And in that sense, right, um, you don't always just have to um, 
stay where you are, right? You can always improve things. So if you're not happy um, with where things are at work, or if you're not happy with the, the balance of how you're trying to juggle things and you just don't have time for yourself, then you can make that change, right? So it's all about empowering yourselves, right? Um, and today, well, I just wanted to share with you about empowering yourselves in your 21 day journey especially going forward from here because it's so key right so we've gone through so much together already in the last few weeks and then after this what right how do we keep the momentum how do we continue to change and grow and and you know get to this better version of ourselves so today we're going to talk a little bit about how to uh, connect the mind and body because change cannot just come uh, from you know your diet and your exercise it really has to come from the way um, your you perceive yourself how you perceive your body how you perceive what is healthy and what is beautiful right so all of this will create more lasting change Okay, so just let me um, share this with you. So before I, I continue, just let me tell you a little bit that um, so I've, I, I'm very inspired by Yen. So um, I've launched this new program called Well Women. So if you're interested in any coaching programs on like finding your purpose, finding balance in life, etc., do contact me. I'll speak a little bit more about it near the end. Uh, but just to let you know, when you see Well Women here, uh, Well Women actually represents the coaching and uh, um therapy sessions that I do with women to help empower them, okay? All right, so first question I'm going to throw to all of you because I know, you know, we want to keep this session very interactive, all right? So if you have any questions for me, just shout it out. And yeah, I know she's a great um, host, so she will also, um, you know, I'm sure uh, share her thoughts along the way. So first question, do you have a healthy perception of your body? Anybody wants to say yes or no? Don't be shy. <laughs> okay, tell you what, to warm up. Okay, I see some comments in the chat. Let's see. Um, Sally, yes, Yen, yes. I'm very sure you do as the as our coach. You, you have to, right? Because it's really, you know how important the mind is. Um, Zidu, yes, very good. So I'm going to um, ask you to fill in these questions, right? Um, and you just have a look at them and take a pencil or a paper if you want just to keep track or if not just in your head, look, answer the questions, yes or no, okay? So I'm going to give you two minutes to just have a look at this. If you're done, can you please uh, just type yes or done in the box so I know where you're at. Oh, someone scribbling on the screen by accident, I think. Is that you, is that you Jan? Or the red marks? No, somebody, probably they are typing. Oh, I see. I, okay. I yeah. can, uh, let me see if I can change it. Just, uh, no. All right. No worries. So are, are we done? So um, if you're not done, don't worry. Um, you know, we can always go back and share these questions with you. But I would just like to highlight here, if you answered at least yes to three or more of the questions, there is a chance that you might have a negative body image. Yeah? And this negative body image um, is um, it can really, really impact um, the way we see and value ourselves, right? So what we mean by this is that you know, um, we, of course, we want to change, right? So the reason why we want to join, like, uh, you know, journey to be a fit mom, etc., is, of course, we want to change, we want to um, be healthier, you want, we want to be fitter, we want to reduce our fat, increase our uh, muscle mass, and that's exactly why I joined um, the program as well, right? But um, there's a difference between wanting to be healthier and, you know, more beautiful, um, and there's a difference between that <coughs> and 
uh, having a negative body image, okay? So in one, you are constructive. You know these are the things that you need to work on. You know that, um, you know, I'm not eating well now. My diet is very bad. Uh, I can improve it. I can eat more nutritionally. So if you know that and then you say, okay, I'm going to change, but I don't know how. So you join the program. That's completely fine, right? So that's a positive way of doing it. The negative way of doing it is when you start to beat yourself up, right? When you're so, um, 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 you know, unkind to yourself, you know, and I mean, Yan talked about, uh, about this last time, how to be kinder to yourself, especially as women. Sometimes we can be um, very hard on ourselves. So when we, when we start to say, oh, you know, I, I can never change because I've, oh, I've been overweight my whole life, right? That's when you start to have the negativity come in or when you start to think of things like, um, oh my gosh, she's so much better looking than me. Um, you know, why, uh, why am I so ugly, right? That's when you start to compare yourself and that's when the negativity comes in as well, right? So I know that Yan has really good rules. She always says, don't compare yourself with anyone when you join the program. Always go according to your own progress. And that is a beautiful rule because if you follow that rule, the chances of you slipping into negativity or jealousy or envy is much lower, right? Because our our bodies will work according to our own um, uh, time, right? And, and as much effort as we put in and all that. Okay. Um, the other thing that I think is um, really important when we think about a negative body image is that it can also affect our mood. It can make us, uh, you know, really angry with ourselves, you know, like, oh, why can I never change that kind of thinking? Or, you know, um, it can also even in impact our families, right? The way um, our relationships with our spouse, you know, you say, oh, why is she always looking at other women? You know, does she not think I'm attractive anymore? Or even in terms of our careers, right? They'll, you know, they'll Say, oh, she's better looking than me in the office. That's why she gets promoted, you know, and, and all our other relationships, right? With our friends. So a lot of women, like 80% of women in Australia, there was a survey done, they will cancel uh, parties and events if that day they don't feel like um, they look good. So a lot of women are uh, put so much emphasis uh, emphasis on looking uh, good that, you know, that they, they don't have confidence in other parts of themselves. Um, and, and the image becomes the only thing that matters, right? So this is when it becomes very negative, okay? Um, I just wish I could remove these red lines from the screen. Can, can everyone see it or is it only me? I can see it, but I don't know how to remove it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, I don't know how it got there. Um, the person, the person who may have inflicted it can only remove it, I think. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't know who inflicted it. <laughs> okay, never mind. So uh, we, we just have to uh, suggestion is please create even the smaller system for the members. And Sorry? Somebody didn't mute their mic. I just, I, I just mute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So uh, the next one, right? Next point is that, so why do we feel, this? why do we have this negative body image? Well, media can play a big part on it. Um, you know, we always see, uh, you know, all those um, actresses at, and all, they're also sleep, right? Um, you know, the way that they airbrush the photographs in the magazines, right? So even like people like um, um, Kate Moss, who is so slim, or Jessica Elba, they get airbrushed and made, are made even slimmer, right? Um, social media, you know, when people post pictures of themselves, you know, a lot of it are with filters etc and then we start to compare as well so you know instead of seeing people for who they really are we only see the best versions of themselves that they put out on social media right um you know society of course you know certain 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 cultures like i knew in korea the um, beauty is so important that um you know if you're more beautiful other you're more likely to be promoted right than if you are less beautiful there was a survey done on that and research shows that as well so certain societies place a lot of emphasis on your appearance you know parents sometimes when you're brought up right if one sibling is is you know, better looking than the other, they can compare you. And of course, you know, there are so many diet uh, fitness craze out there that how do you even choose, right? So how do you know, like, um, which one is good? Because there are so many out there and some of them are just uh, very, very unhealthy, right? Um, and which we don't, uh, don't want to subscribe to because as far as we're concerned, like on our 21 day uh, uh, journey, nutrition is so, so key, right? So we need to make sure that we get the right nutrition. Okay, so if all of that is the negative side of it, what is it? Um, 
to be positive about your body. So what is a body positivity, right? Um, healthy body occurs when you feel confident about your body, when you, when you can nurture it, right? So what that means is that, you know, you're not confident like um, I'm perfect, right? But you're confident in the sense that, you know, this is my body, I am in charge of it, I have control over it, and if I want to make certain changes, I can make the change, you know, and I can look uh, better, I can be healthier, right? Oh, yes, it's gone. Thank you so much, Rebecca. <laughs> the setting which can enable all us rebels. So I hope it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, so that healthy positivity means that you don't treat your body as, oh, this horrible thing that, you know, um, I can't even bear to look at, uh, you know, I have no control over. Uh, being positive is saying, look, this is my body. It may not be perfect now. But there's a, I can change it, right? I can make a difference. I can do certain things to change it, okay? So let us look at what kind of things that we can do to change it. So changing from negative to healthy, right? So how can we do this shift from that negative self-image and that negative self-talk? Like, I will always be fat. I will never be healthy. How do we change that to something positive? Well, the first way is to really, really change how we think about ourselves, right? Our self-perception, our self-beliefs, right? So we're going to talk a little bit more about this um, afterwards. And I'm going to give you guys even um, homework on how to do this, okay? And the second way, of course, is what we're doing now, right? During this um, journey, which is uh, to change our lifestyles, right? Um, change our lifestyles, what we eat, making sure our diet is clean. That's why we have um, all the, the, the meal plans. That's why we have the grocery list, etc. Trust us. And of course, we have all the exercise um, um, sessions to keep us active, right? To, to build our strength and our muscles and all this sort of thing. Okay, so the second thing I feel like we sort of have a sense on already, you know, because we've been practicing it now for almost three weeks. But what about the first one? How can we change how we think about ourselves? Okay. So let's just go um, and understand the psyche a little bit. Okay. So as a psychotherapist, right? Uh, what is key is to really understand how um, the human psyche, right? So the psychology between how people think about themselves, um, how people um, change their, their uh, behavior by changing their thought patterns, okay? So if you look at this little graph over here, you'll see that um, behavior can only be changed um, when you change your core beliefs, okay? Now, your core beliefs are the things you hold true and believe about yourself, okay? So, um, for example, my core belief is that um, we should value um, uh, each other, we should value ourselves, okay? That's like a core belief. Um, and I should value myself because I'm worth it. Right, so that's a very empowering uh, core belief. Okay, these empowering uh, beliefs could be things like you know I'm useless, um, no one will ever love me, right? Or things like um, um, I've tried so many diets before and I fail and I will never succeed. Right, so that is a um, that is a disempowering thought which can create a disempowering uh, core belief. So if you look at this little triangle here, right in the center is the belief. Okay. And the belief is influenced by yourself, um, others, obviously, like we said, media, family, etc., which can impact it. And also um, the future. Future here means, right, any thoughts, uh, it can impact our future behavior, okay? So behavior, thoughts, feelings. Now, if we start to think negatively, like, oh, I can never change, what does that make happen with our feelings? It makes us sad, it makes us depressed, uh, you know, it makes us stressed because we think that, uh, everything's out of control. And then what happens? Our behavior is also impacted, right? So how can we change uh, and, you know, go and exercise, wake up at 7.30 and do an exercise if we are feeling so depressed, right? And we can't sleep at night and, and all these sort of things, right? You have insomnia. You think there's no point. Even if I go and exercise in the morning, um, I'm just going to be exhausted for the rest of the day uh, I you know I'm just going to um, not lose the weight anyway because I'll eat a lot after that so all these thoughts will impact your feelings and it will impact your behavior okay so that's why it's so important to understand this cycle 
That's why when we talk about change, you know, in therapy, in coaching, and all that, change can only come when you first change and shift your mind, okay? So if you look at this iceberg over here, you'll be able to see as well that as much as we want to change our beliefs and our thoughts, a lot of um, it is also subconscious. Only 10% of it is um, on top of the surface, in, if you look at it in terms of an iceberg. And 90% is actually subconscious. So what that means is that, you know, maybe we think, oh, you know, um, I have the willpower to, I'm going to have the willpower to do this. So 10% of uh, um, you uh, consciously saying, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I'll be able to, to, to complete this and, and lose my two kilos or three kilos. But your subconscious mind, the one that is propelled, the one fueled by your belief system, is going to sabotage it, right? So the 10% will say, I can do it. The 90% will say, no, but you've always been overweight. You've never succeeded in uh, losing it before. Why do you think anything has changed now, right? So that's why this belief system is very, very key, okay? To change it. Otherwise, you can always sabotage yourself. So how do we actually change our belief system? Because this is what is going to create this long-term shift, right? From just being, uh, from just doing it uh, when you have accountability, for example, if other people around you, to maintaining this six months, one year, three years, five years from now, right? The only way you can do it is if you start to change your, the way you think, start to change the way you believe things about yourself, okay? Okay, so if you look at this little box here, um, you can think of uh, this is this is called um, in the box and out of box um, uh, exercise. All right, now um, in the box is all the times when we think about negative things. So for example, when we say I can't do it, you know, and when we feel hopeless, when we start to blame others, oh, you know, my I, I can't do it because my husband, uh, um, you know, if he sees me go on diet, he will he will. Uh, say, oh, why are you spending so much time, you know, um, taking care of yourself when you should be taking care of the children, you know? So you start to blame others. Or it could be, um, I should do it, uh, but then you think, oh, you know, um, do I really need to do it, right? So, you know, you start to, and then you start to resent the people who do do it, right? So you say, oh, how come she can do it and I can't, right? I know I should, but I'm not doing it, right? And the other one, of course, like in the box is when we start to say, oh, I really, really want, but then you don't do anything, okay? So if you stay in the box, you will never be able to propel yourself to um, change, right? You'll never have this new self-belief. So, Instead of staying in the box, I challenge you to move out of the box, right? So instead of saying, I can't do it, I can't um, lose weight, say, I choose to, I choose to go on a plan, uh, you know, a lifestyle plan that where um, I can work on my diet, uh, I can work on my nutrition, I can work on uh, developing a healthy, active lifestyle. Um, and then you say, um, and, and you know, you, you start to um, uh, give yourself choices, right? Because when you are in the box, you don't have a choice, right? You say, you start to blame people, I can't do it because I have no time. But when you put yourself out of the box and you say, I choose to, you immediately give yourself permission to do things, right? So to make time, to put it in your calendar, to schedule um, the exercise session in and all that, right? So I choose to, right? It makes you much more productive. The other one of out of the box, which is very useful, is I can learn from, right? So I don't know how to do it. It's in the box, right? Um, and when you move out of the box, you say, okay, I may not know how to do it, but that's not going to stop me, right? I can learn from the, I can learn from my coach. I can learn from uh, the other women, you know, and I can do it, right? So you're, being, you're becoming open, right? You're becoming cre uh, creative because you're finding solutions. So instead of saying, I have no time, you're creatively looking for time, right? So waking up earlier or changing the way you uh, manage your routine every day, right? I'll give it a shot, right? It's another one, you know, just because you're taking risks, right? Even though you think you're going to fail, I might as well give it a shot anyway, right? Because if I don't give it a shot, never try, you never know, right? Um, I want to. Now, if you have a want, the want is so powerful. So you can't just um, uh, say, uh, I want to, 
um, and then keep it in the box. It has to be the one too that generates that passion to do something. So that's where the passion comes in, right? So if your want is not filled by emotions, right? Then you will always stay in the one inside the box, right? So, but if you are filled by the emotion that then you will move yourself out of the box, okay? So um, I'm just going to do this little exercise with you guys, all right? Because uh, this is really, really key for us before we even uh, move forward, okay? So how do we change how we think about self? Start with setting health, um, um, health and beauty goals for yourself. Sorry, one typo there. I spoke healthy instead of health. Health and beauty goals for yourself, okay? What does that mean? So... Um, when we say health and beauty, it's not the same thing, right? It's so important. So once I was coaching this woman um, about um, her, bo her body positivity and everything, and she said to me, you know, it's not, I don't feel, she said, I don't feel like I look bad. You know, I'm very comfortable with how I look. She was, she was a, um, you know, she was a bit um, overweight and everything and all that. And she said, um, I don't actually have a problem. Actually, I'm the heaviest I have been now since uh, coming out of university. Um, and she's in her 40s, right? Uh, she's got two children already. And she said, I'm the heaviest now, but I'm the most comfortable with my body now, right? Um, and she said, but I still feel like there's um, something I need to do. So I, I, I asked her, I said, maybe your goal, um, you know, when you uh, are thinking about becoming more physical, uh, uh, be eating better, living a healthier lifestyle, is not so much driven by your, how you look, your appearance, which is beauty, but by your health, which is longevity, right? Because then she said to me, you know, I think that is what is going on. The reason why I feel I need to change is not because I don't like the way I look. It's because I know that if I'm not healthy, I won't be there to raise my children in future, right? I, won't, I will be a burden on my family who have to look after me if I get sick, right? And all this. So, the, the, so she said to me, so her goal when she wanted to go on this um, journey to become a healthier version of herself was not so, beauty was not priority, it was longevity, right? How long you live and how uh, healthy do you, let, you live, right? So health and beauty, two different things. Now, if you think about, uh, uh, about it like that, I want you to now set goals for yourself on these two criteria, not just one, okay? So not just on the, I want to lose three kilos so I can fit into my clothes, which is beauty, which is completely fine and very, very um, uh, deserving goals, just like mine, right? I don't want my clothes to go to waste in my cupboard, so I want to <laughs> I want to lose weight so that I look good in them as well. So beauty goals, but also on top of beauty goals, your health goals, right? I want to be healthier. I want to be able to run after my children. Uh, you know, when we go hiking, uh, you know, in, in the parks, I want to be able to climb up the mountain without uh, losing uh, my breath, right? All of this also matter. So set do both those goals for yourself, right? Um, and then once you start to set these goals for yourself, guess what? You don't no longer just completely restricted by the pressure from uh, outside, by the pressure from culture, right? Because if you are, then, you know, you will go back to all oh, the media says you have to be um, um, this size, uh, size zero in US um, to be, uh, be, be beautiful, or the media says that you have to have blue eyes to be beautiful or blonde hair, right? None of which is the truth, right? Instead, you need to set a new truth for yourself of what is beautiful and what is healthy in your eyes and in your, and which will suit your lifestyle, okay? So first of all, setting this is very, very key so that you're not just influenced by all the things outside. Your self-belief is actually going to be created and set by you, okay? The second thing to change how we think of ourselves, like we said, is that self-perception, that self-belief, right? So instead of looking in the mirror and bashing yourself up for it, start to look for the positives. Okay, I may be chubby over here, don't worry, but look, I have, uh, you know, beautiful eyes or, you know, give yourself um, some praise, right? When you start to love yourself and you're kinder to yourself, there are more chances that you are going to believe in yourself. Yeah. Oh. Let me try, let me try on my lips. Oh, one's talking. Okay. 
The other one is, of course, to really recognize your assets, right? Your positive qualities. So don't just like look at the negative one and also accept that, you know, you're growing older, right? All of us are and our bodies will change. So if we are, if our personalities change, if our lifestyle change, we get married, we have children, our bodies are going to change. So we have to accept that the change happens and, but, and not beat ourselves up about it, right? And when we realize that change happens, guess what? It gives control back to you because if your body can change um, uh, this way, that means it can change another way too if you take control of it, right? So that's very key, right? To really accept that change is natural. So I'm going to give you an exercise now. Um, I want you to think of one goal for yourself, health or beauty, and share it with us here. Um, let's just do this little exercise, okay? Because it will really stamp in what we've talked about. So um, if anyone would like to start, maybe, Yan, if you'd like to start, I'm sure you have met, met a lot of your goals, but maybe one more. <laughs> um, so I need to say instead of this, to say oh no it's it's just uh the goal okay oh, yeah we start with the goal and then we'll 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 do the other the instead after that um i want to um age gracefully that is uh one of the key things is uh to stay to stay younger than my real age <laughs> oh that's beautiful i love that yeah <laughs> uh, and i'm sure you are at the moment right and Still are, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, very good. Okay, yeah. So you see, when you give yourself these kind of goals, it's not just like, uh, you know, you don't just say, oh, I want to be uh, uh, more beautiful, right? You're actually giving yourself something more specific, right? So for Yan, she can actually measure herself on uh, um, a calculator to actually check her fitness, her, her percentage all and say, look, I'm actually younger biologically uh, at a younger age. Um, than um, other women and average myself, right? And it, it's not comparing um, against other women, it's comparing against um, nature, <laughs> biology, right? So you're almost getting yourself uh, physically healthier than you would on average, right? Anyone else? Sally? Me? Well, very interesting. I've always been on a quest and always tell myself that age is just a variable. Our soul remains the same. Our body may undergo changes, like you say, changing our mindset and working on our heart, mind and body can change the way we look. And not uh, and, and, and uh, aging is an art, is, is, has become very artful these days. So I think that we can reverse our age and uh, through better nutrition, through better eating habits, we can stay young and be vital and be purpose driven. So yes, I would like to stay as young as I possibly can. Awesome. <laughs> and, and still fit and healthy. That's also very important. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, to set those specific goals, right? Um, Swati, would you like to share? I think for me, it would be healthy mind and body. Healthy body and a healthy mind, I think. Because as I'm growing old, I want my, you know, I want to keep fit, my mind, my soul, my body, like everything. Absolutely, that absolutely. Be my goal. Yeah. Yeah, and you need to have all of it, right? Because when we talk about health, it's never just one, right? You can be very, very positive, um, happy, uh, outgoing person, uh, yeah. but also or end up in hospital and be physically sick, right? Or you could be very healthy, but also be depressed, right? So it's it you need it to come together, right? He um, your head, your heart. Uh, and your um, body, right? That's why, you know, the program that I created is the head, heart and body, okay? Mm -hmm. um, anyone else? One other person at least, share your goals. Anybody else? If I not... see Mel has written something on the chat. She, she oh, okay. said, I would like to move around even I'm aging. That's my first top goal. Absolutely. That's, yeah, so that's beautiful. So that means you want to be able to remain active, right? Um, and that is so key for me. That's one of my goals as well because I had an uh, ankle uh, surgery. Oops. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I could move around. I was in a wheelchair. 
So I really realized it's so important to be mobile, to be active, you know. And then when, because I, I was in a wheelchair and I wasn't healthy, when I went out with my children, you know, uh, when we went hiking, I was out of breath, I felt tired, I couldn't catch up with them, you know. And that's when I said, something has to change, right? And, you know, that's, uh, that was my motivation to change. Okay, now another exercise. Uh, and I uh, need um, others to help answer this as well so that we can have more uh, interaction, okay, guys? Or girls, should I say, ladies? The instead of um, exercise, instead of saying this, what can you say instead? So maybe we can call on someone. Yen, you know, you know everyone a little bit more than me. Who would you like to call? Phew. Two, come in. I see your name. Ah, pressure already. Better come in. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I just uh, back from running after my one hour exercise. Awesome. <laughs> Very good. So, do you know what we are what what we are talking right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On it. On it. I I hear. I hear it. Yeah, okay. so you wanted to share, Michelle asked who would like to share, so I, I, I pointed at you. <laughs> yeah. Instead Hi. of and saying, so instead of saying something, say some positive things about yeah. it. That's right. Instead of saying something negative, say something positive. And here, I think the, 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 the part that just now Michelle got mentioned that is a very important that plant the thing in our own mind first. Like what, uh, actually my, my, my set of mind is I want to be look nice as before. That means that when I young time, I slim. But aging, as aging, stress, become a mother, then I accumulated my fat. <laughs> 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 so Why not? Then, no. <laughs> then one day I, I i told my auntie she raised me up i said no 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 she she warned me first she said hey you look at yourself you cannot be like that i look at myself and i said okay i want to slim down you believe me or not she said yeah i believe you i said why you believe me i not even believe myself at the time i said why you believe me she said you are a person who you always want you looks good, but I don't know why you lost it. <laughs> so from that day on, I start work out, but not really effective la. Until last year, July, I start my uh, Herbalife program with Yen. Start from ten days first, ten days, and then I think ten days for two times, and then after that, I start to join twenty one day. Until, until now, I joined most of the, the program that I'm very happy and um, already built the uh, plan, the uh, eating habit and uh, work out. Like I, I share with, uh, even today I share with another friend, I say, two friends, I said, you will need to build the habit of work out and uh, eating habit is very important. Yeah. So, so and, I'm, and today I'm very happy that June also joined in because I can see June is uh, very determined for this time and she is serious. So I feel happy for her. Wonderful. So so I'm going to yeah. ask you a question just to make yeah. your life, life a bit more difficult. So instead <laughs> of what did you say to yourself in the past that you changed it to the belief? So what did you say? Uh, what I say, I just say, I, I just said, I set my mind. I say, I, I need to be, I am the only one who can help myself. Yeah. I tell myself, I'm the only one who I can help myself. Even I told our uh, Juno, so I said, I only can help, but I cannot full 100%. Only yourself can make yourself change. Nobody else. Yeah. Nobody else. All right. Uh, others people like Yen or all the friends can assist on it then do it or not do it take it or not take it is ourselves it's very important thank yeah. you Q. thank you <laughs> yeah so so your, your sentence you. is instead of allowing my age to take control of me 
I am I am making the change for myself, right? So that sounds like your your statement, right? From what you yeah yeah. Say. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, and then to, today I share my uh one of my uh workout photo with uh, one of my friend in Perth. She said, "Hey, you look younger." <laughs> I say, "I say very sorry, ah, uh, it's because of MCO. I didn't fly to Korea for plastic surgery." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We cannot provide all of us quarantine. <laughs> then I, I share with her. I say you you I, I suggest I not say I say you should what, 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 I suggest her what to do first. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for sharing. So yeah, so basically you can see from this exercise that it's all about changing that mindset, right? And really, really moving it from the I from inside the box to outside the box, okay? And in order to be able to move you to uh, achieving your goal, you need to set the goals first. If you don't have specific goals, you can't set it. So, you know, every time, um, you know, Yan and other coaches will say, what is your goal for these 21 days, right? Um, when you start to think about that those goals, you can think about it both in terms of health and in terms of beauty, right? Because they both matter, okay? Um, this one, I think we know a lot about already, um, you know, about changing the lifestyle, right? So, so this lifestyle, of course, is, you know, your nutrition, your diet, um, and your exercise, okay, which we're all on, right? But like, in order to put that in place and make sure that that happens, that's when we need to change that um, mindset, okay? So, um, homework for you all going forward, which I hope that you will practice is to start giving yourself some affirmations affirmations are all that outside the box things that we are talking about right affirmations is i i am i am beautiful uh i can be beautiful because i am beautiful you know those kind of affirmations start writing for yourself all those out of the box questions right um, i choose to do this because i i deserve a chance right so write these affirmations for yourself then look at them every day even if you have just one affirmation and you put it on your phone as your screensaver or you write it on a piece of paper and stick it on your mirror right so every day you look at it it's already good enough, but have one affirmation at least, right? And then as you move along, write new ones. If the old ones no longer work for you, um, continue to write new ones for yourself, okay? The other important thing is to journal, right? Journaling really helps you because it helps you keep track, right, of your progress. And it also tracks your moods and feelings. And most importantly, it helps you to um, uh, process everything you're going through, okay? So that even when you're feeling negative, right? And then you you say, oh, you know, I feel really down today because, um, uh, you know, I, I feel like I cannot control my food. Um, you know, it's going out uh, the window. You know, I, I really, you know, then when you process it like that, you, do, you can then create an affirmation for it right and you can change it instead of saying i have no control over my food all the time say i i may not have control today but tomorrow i will be back on track right so the minute you can identify the negative thing um, and you start to journal and, and and write it down you can immediately tackle it and say look this is how i can change it from negative to positive right because that's the only way we can control our minds um, and our thinking and at the end of the day our belief right by changing the the negative thing right from uh, when it starts already to say no no i'm not going to allow my negativity to spiral because if it spirals then you know two days, three days, four days, and suddenly you have dropped off and then uh, you are no longer um, uh, uh, going to uh, pursue your goal, right? You say, I just give up, right? And giving up is the worst thing you can do to yourself because you're not giving yourself the chance, okay? Um, yep, so that is that's is it for me um, at the moment on that. I wanted to leave some time for questions. So we've got 15 minutes for questions. Um, yeah, and just before the questions, can I just share a little bit so uh, about Well Women. So we have various programs to help empower you. Um, uh, and the programs here are the three signature ones. One is the Healthy Mind um, 
mind, um, heart and body. So which you're already doing the body part. So if you're interested in working on the heart and the mind to change the way you think, do let me know. Okay, and we can look at some of um, coaching together. The other one is your best life, which is about how you craft a purpose for your life, right? So rather than just waking up every day and just going through the motions, right? And just letting life lead you, you take charge and control back of your life, okay? And the third one is be happy now, which is this one. And it's all about helping you to find balance in life. So if you visit the, my website, um, you'll be able to have a look at uh, all these coaching programs and feel free to email me um, uh, at michelle at wellwomen.my okay so thank you very much for letting me share this now questions uh, okay looking forward before, to it. michelle before question first i actually okay. it's so powerful tonight and then you know while you're talking i keep sending message oh my god it's so powerful come join in because i don't want anyone to miss this uh um sessions and i gotta say um, you hit so many, so many different buttons of us, you know, as women, we, we, we don't, you know, we are shy about to talk, of, talk about witness and then worry about what people think about us, right? But the more you share, the more you embrace. And tonight you give us a whole new level of, you know, understand as a coach for so many years. I, I, I can do it. I can give people encouragement, empowerment, but you are actually bring, break it to different, uh, um, um, what is that called? Different boxes for people to understand there's an out, there's an in, and then there's up and down. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. That is the part I really, really enjoy it. And uh, before we're going to question, is some of the things I wanted to share which is what I learned in um, in this, if you don't mind. Yes, I would love to hear your key takeaways. <laughs> okay. Um, so like, um, um, it started, you know, if you're not happy where you are today, and then all you need to do is decide. Decide you wanted to make a change and make progress in your life. And every day is a brand new day for you to make progress. And then that is the first page of when Michelle talk about and that is so powerful to open up this and uh, for me another thing is um, you know there's a, a lot of time we look at um, you know compare ourselves to others and um, you know when you have that time that moment and um, you know that is the when you, you when you see yourself in a in the lowest point but what you can do is like what Michelle say, the affirmation, and then you can treat it like a mantra. And you can always tell yourself, you know, I'm worth it. You know, I can improve myself. I'm stronger than what I see in the mirror and I can be better every day. Something like that to make it mantra, to, to make yourself, when you're feeling low and feeling down, immediately play this mantra out from your brain and you can say out loud as well, right? And yeah. last but not least is when you see there's an area you fear of and actually most of people will walk away or turn back or avoid it. But instead, you should face it. And then when you face it, you overcome, you have a breakthrough. So this is what I learned from Michelle. And thank you so much. And now I wanted to ask, is there anybody who has some questions and then you wanted to ask right now? Don't be shy. This is a platform to open up yourself. Okay? Yes, Michelle, I actually have a question. Yeah. Yes? All right. So, um, you know, how, um, there's this um, disorder called body dysmorphia. Yeah. So, it's especially common because I'm still in my 20s. So, it's especially common in uh, those in, uh, I realized among younger adults, especially because right now we live in an era where comparison happens so often. And we have this perception how everyone out there should have small waist, big butt, and everything. And uh, they just we just forget that what we already have, we have to embrace it and just fix it within ourselves instead of comparing it to others. So is there a psychology behind body dysmorphia or what we could do besides just fixing ourselves, what we could do 
when it comes to encouraging others as well. Yeah, that's my yeah. question. Yeah, so body dysmor uh, dysmorphia is what causes anorexia, what causes bulimia, right? All of these uh, uh, people, uh, young girls who starve themselves or who, who uh, you know, and don't eat at all or the ones who overeat and then throw up, right, bulimia, the difference between anorexia and bulimia, it's because of body dysmorphia. So even when they look at themselves in the mirror, dysmorphia means... Um, um, you not you the you morph into something else, right? To morph is to change, right? So when you look at yourself in the mirror, instead of seeing who you are, you see who your your brain tells you to see, which is something else because your brain has been wired to believe that beauty is um uh something else, right? So that's when um that's why a lot of the times it young to uh, young girls, even young children have it, even as young as nine, ten years old, is because of media, like we said, right? They always watch uh, uh movies with slim people you know magazines all the covers are, are are very skinny people and and the models on the catwalk and all this right so i think what is really important for us as um, women and as mothers is to make sure we don't raise our children like that right don't raise our daughters with that expectation help them to understand that your value and their beauty comes from more than just um, the physical of course we want to be healthy but we cannot base our entire um, value just on whether we have um, a very tiny waist or a very big butt or you know very big boobs and all this so very very key the role that um, you know us as, uh, as elder sisters or parents um, or um, friends can can um, help right with with the younger generation if we know someone who's going through body dysmorphia if they have anorexia or bulimia and all these sort of things, they need to get help, right? Because it's life-threatening, right? So we, um, um, you know, the professionals can do something about it, right? You see a psychiatrist, the psychologist or a therapist like myself. But if you know someone who is like that, um, and you don't get them help, then it can be very dangerous, right? Because um, you know the, when you're under, when you don't have enough nutrition, um, a lot of times uh, the lady, the girls with uh, anorexia, they have to be drip fed, right? So they can only be because they cannot swallow anymore. The minute they swallow, they they throw up. So they have to be drip fed. So get them the help that they need. Number one is a society, right? Teach our children, uh, our daughters, teach even our sons, right? treat women respectfully. It's not just about how they look, right? It's about who they are. Um, uh, treat each other respectfully, right? Don't judge each other in that just by your outlook, uh, outward appearance alone, right? Um, and of course, um, you know, get them help, right? It's so, so key. Yeah. Wow. What a good question, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is anybody else? Um, would like to ask question. This is a very, very um, good opportunity. Yeah, any question at all. Okay, do you, um, Michelle, do you mind to um, um, uh, stop share screen so we can oh, see? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, can, can. Let me just stop share. Then okay. it's easier. Okay, there you go. Anybody would like to ask questions? I think they are a little bit shy. <laughs> you can always just type it in the box or if you like. You, you can type in the box, yeah? Yeah. How do you stop worrying about things in general? How do you stop worrying about things? Yeah, so it's all, you know, as women, we always have something on our head playing. Right now, I'm thinking, okay, what do I have to, you know, yeah. Do tonight, my daughter will wake up in the night. You know, there's so many things you constantly think about. And how do you how do you keep up with your mental health? Like, is there something like you do personally? Something, you know, just switch yeah. off. How do you just switch off? Like men can easily switch off. I <laughs> think <laughs> like, uh, you know, it's so, easy for men, but for women, it's very difficult. So. So, so, you know, in um, the, the, the course that I was um, programmed that I told you I was doing, the Healthy Mind 
um, heart and body. One of the things we do down there as well as in uh, the Be Happier Now is we teach you how to manage stress and build resilience and actually how to spark more joy in your life. So Swati, you're absolutely right. There's research done which shows that uh, men and women, their personalities are slightly different. Women always score themselves higher in terms of um, uh, um, neuroticism, which means that, you know, we're always thinking, we're always worried, right? We're more emotional, right? Whereas, uh, and we also, and the second thing that they score themselves very high on is um, empathetic um, relationships, right? So they're very, they're more, they have more empathy and they worry more, okay? So this is a worldwide global research, right? And they ask women to score themselves. So the research keeps coming back the same. They've done it for like the 20 years already. The, these are the two things that women always score high in. Men score high on two other things. Um, aggression, aggressiveness, so they will not necessarily violence, right, but aggressiveness to go out and do new things. And the second thing they score themselves very, very high on um, is um, openness to, to risk, right, so openness to change, okay, so the, the, so the thing about women is that um, uh, we are more risk averse usually, so therefore, you know, we're better nurturers, so it goes back to the caveman time, right, we don't go out of the cave, we look after our children more, and but because we take care so much of the family, the unit, the household, we are also always worrying and stressing and making sure everybody is, is healthy and uh, happy and all that, right, meeting the needs of others is the key trait of women, right. Um, how do you stop it? There are several ways, right, but you'd you cannot just stop it like that, right? Managing anxiety and stress requires you to put in the effort every single day to change the habit. Because when you go, so there's three different levels of it. You have just a uh, normal uh, worry, like worry is saying, oh, you know, I'm going to, I don't want to be late. So I wake up early to go somewhere. Then you have stress is when your body starts to react to the worry and you cannot sleep. You start to sweat, your stomach flutters. Anxiety is prolonged stress. When you are conscious, continuously um, on a state, in a state of stress, when you have adrenaline that you cannot move out of it, that is called an anxiety disorder, right? So if you don't manage it at the worry level, guess what? It's so easy for you to suffer stress long term, you know, get high blood pressure, uh, heart attacks, etc., and then suffer from anxiety disorders, right? Anxiety disorders is when then you have to go and take um, um, Xanax, <laughs> you know, and all the other pills um, to manage it because your brain has rewired. So you must tackle it every day, this worry, uh, and by breaking the worry patterns. So one way to break the worry patterns is by changing um, your thought patterns, right? Changing uh, your, shifting your mindset. So just like the in and out of the box, right? Since we already did learn about it just now this is one very easy tool to use okay instead of saying uh thinking in the box that something bad is going to happen right so when we worry what is happening worry is when we worry about the future right depression is when we are um uh, sad about something in the past okay that's the difference between anxiety and depression when people talk oh. to you about depression is past you are sad about or angry uh, or have about the past. Anxiety is you are concerned about the future. Okay? You're worried about the future. Now, in, you are in the box. Why do you worry? You worry because you think that things are not going to happen right. Right? That's why you think, I'm going to miss the call. Uh, my daughter isn't going to do well. Uh, um, I'm not be going to be able to achieve my goals. That is in the box. So what do you need to do instead uh, of worrying? Swati, I'm asking you this question back and I'm empowering you to answer it. I should, so instead, instead, I should just think outside the box. I should not be in that box. Yeah, so instead of worrying, give me one worry you have now. One worry. One worry. Right now. I'm not losing weight. <laughs> okay, that's your one worry, right? Okay, oh, not. Now, re, I need you to rephrase this to an outside the box. I have lost inches, so yeah, that's a positive um, thing. So I don't know how to rephrase. Yeah. So yeah. instead of saying I'm not losing weight, right? Say 
I have worked hard and have lost the inches yeah. and I have I may have more to go but if I'm capable of doing that in the past I'm capable of doing it now right and yeah. instead of worrying about it you say to yourself and these are the things I'm going to do to make sure this change happens number one I'm going to you know blah 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 number two and then you set goals for yourself okay right so you shift from just being the victim like oh my god uh not losing weight to being the victor right i can do this i can win this battle right yeah yeah positive affirmations absolutely thanks michelle very welcome yeah oh we are thanks at the end michelle um at the same time sally just um type the comment you have lost 10 kg you're <laughs> just undergoing a little plateau Yes. Oh my God, you have reduced from large to small now. I mean, if I were to show me flash the screenshot of where you were before and after, you have undergone an amazing body transformation. Mm -hmm. Affirm that and be and yes, be grateful. Yeah. Affirm it, you know. Affirmations are saying, I'm good enough. I can do this. I have done this, right? So you really, really need to be able to say that. Um to yourself when you are feeling uh, worried, right? If you cannot say it to yourself, no one else is going to be able to say it to you, right? So you need to really, really learn to empower yourself. That's very, very good. Um, Charlotte say, wow, very good. Thank you, Michelle. And, um, you know, when we do coaching, um, in, in lifestyle coaching, right? Um, we constantly have a lot of customer will come to us. They probably set goals for like, oh, I wanted to lose five kg in, in 21 days, right? But they only lost three kg, for example. And um, they were always looking to, it's so slow. I only lost three kg, but they didn't, like, I, I, you know, it's not touch five. And then you realize actually, hey, you already lost three, right? So something like that. And Mich uh, Michelle actually shared about the box and also outside the box is a very good example. Yeah. So be realistic. When you're setting goals, when you start to set your health and um, uh, beauty goals, you must be realistic about it, right? If you say, um, in these 21 days, I'm going to lose seven kilos and look like Cindy Crawford or, uh, you know, uh, Miss Universe, <laughs> you know, of, of course, you're not going to achieve it, right? So set realistic goals for yourself and celebrate your wins. If you don't celebrate your wins, then you know you will always be uh, in the box, right? Set realistic goals, celebrate your wins. Okay, very, very key. Yeah, as Sally says, be grounded, be grateful. Grounded, realistic, um, grateful, yeah, be kind, love yourself. Woohoo! <laughs> I think a lot of people get your bonus point tonight. <laughs> you, Can you, I say something? Yeah. I mean, Michelle, thank you so much for your time today. I mean, I really like the part where you say uh, body, mind and soul. I mean, when I first started out on this journey, it was all about vanity. It was all about beauty. You know, I've just come out of a, 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 a long relationship and I wanted to look good for myself again. And then I realized that, hey, you know, I mean, once you achieve uh, your, your self-confidence, it wasn't just about that. You have to have a, a healthy mind, your mental health, you know. Uh, uh, so that's why we are also driven to want to share this and uh, empower more women out there. It's not just about how you look. It's what's it, it's in your mind, what's in your heart, and how you can share and inspire each other and, and be generous and share all... What, whatever you know how to get there. So really happy that you've shared this with us. It's not just about physicality. It's about everything else. It's all one big, one big, I would say one big thing on its own, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Sally. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, when you think of you, right, um, think of you as a whole, right? You are a whole person, right? Um, and that matters. Right, that really, really matters because um, you're not just one dimensional; you're three dimensional, and all of it counts. Awesome. So, like, um, um, one thing is when you think this is a very good session, 
And just now, Michelle gave a couple of homework. And I hope you already type, like, you know, take some photos and really practice and also to share with others. So the only way to really learn it is to first is we review all these questions and then answer yourself again. And then second is to able to share with others. And um, that is how you learn it. And if you need support and help, you know, um, Michelle Sessions, I, 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 I realized how important to have a healthier mind, right? Uh, we have healthy body, uh, but healthy mind is also equally important. So like, um, uh, that's why I feel free to go into uh, Michelle's uh, website. And uh, if you need, I can always give you her contact. And then that help you to develop a stronger mindset. It's not just one session is enough sometimes. I believe, right? Yeah. If you, especially for those who like what, you, what just now you share, depression is not um, a thing you can visually see, but like uh, definitely most of people is in their heart, it's ha hidden inside so deep. And it's what happened in their past. And then somehow it's, it can't resolve instantly. So you need help, right? Anxiety is about future unknown, right? So like um, all this, as you can see, Michelle has three major coaching and then you can have. And then can you repeat the name again? Oh, yeah. So um, your best self is to help you find your purpose in your life, right? The direction your life should should take right if the, at the moment you feel like you're lost there's no meaning you know COVID is bringing you down making you depressed your best life um, is one of the, the the key signature programs the second one is be happy now which is all about finding balance in your life helping you to learn to manage stress helping you to balance between family work um, and to take the time to take care of yourself right so unlocking um, happiness and the third one is the what we talk about, the healthy mind, heart, body. Um, the body part is, of course, with Herbalife, our partners. And then um, um, the, the mind um, and heart is the, the coaching around how do you break down, right, this negative um, image that you have of yourself, right? Because like, you know, Yan says, it's, one session is possibly not enough. If you need to talk about it, if you have PTSD, trauma, baggage you're carrying from your past, then you know you really need to understand how do I break this pattern, this negative cycle? Because you can be very motivated now, but tomorrow if you wake up, you might find that you're in the same um, negative space again. So you need to work through it, right? And anyone who has ever done coaching um, or therapy before knows that um, it, you need to put the work in and you need to um, invest in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, change cannot happen. Just as you need to invest in exercise and good diet, you need to invest in your brain, right? And your emotions and making sure that you look after yourself. So just don't put in the work just for one day, put it in every single day, right? Awesome. So thank you so much, Michelle. And then shall we take a group photos? And um, so we can, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like uh, if some of you can, you can uh, turn on your camera, that would be great. Even all of us, you know, I'm wearing this, but I'm wearing like, a, <laughs> yeah. So no problem. Let's be our, you know, ourselves, right? Okay. And three. Two, one. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Embrace all this. You know, don't worry. Let it go. And I always say, let it go. And um, yeah. you can always have a, a, every day is a brand new day for us to make a change. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah. It's a very good value session. Thank Have you. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye.